Let me go grab my junk. I tend to say a lot of stupid things on stream. Maybe my phrasing isn't quite right, or maybe there's an innuendo in there. And uh, I wanted to chat to have a way of kind of capturing that and, to, and bring it up and throw it in my face on a constant basis. So I developed my own quote system. I know there's a lot of quote systems out there. Uh, Chatbot, I mean, Stream Elements has their own, but uh, I wanted more control over mine. I'm still using Streamlabs Chatbot to do it, but I have access to the coding and I kind of created it myself. So. I'm going to give a quick little tutorial on how my system works, and then I'll put the code down in the description below so that you can have it for yourself. And don't forget, if you like the video, please hit the subscribe button or even come join me on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at, at 11 p.m. Eastern time. Let's get into it. Okay, so here's the code. I know it's probably pretty small, but again, I'm just going to copy this and put it down in the description so you can have it yourself. Then all you we need to do is copy and paste the text into a new command called add quote or whatever you want to call it. You'll need to make a blank text file, put it in your documents folder or wherever you want to put it. And then you will use the, then you will change the directory and the file name that I have in mine and put it as yours. And then chatbot will always write to that file and then read from that file. You'll need to change the directory in all three command lines. The add quote part of it allows them to just exclamation mark, add quote, space, and then whatever you said. Then what the code does is it goes to a text file and spits out the code, puts the, uh, the user that quoted it, and it also puts a timestamp on it. There's other things that you can do with it. Uh, I mean, you can be creative. This is, this is very, very simple, but it works perfect for me, and it's what I want for my community. And the other thing this allows me to do is I put a role requirement on it as a regular. So viewers that are regulars are the only ones that can add quotes. Random people can't just come to my chat and hit quote or add quote and put in really ridiculous things. And in the end, I have access to the text files. So I can always go back in there and delete or, or alter or whatever I want to the, to the actual quotes. Now the command for getting a quote is just exclamation mark quote and then space and they would hit what a, a number um, one through whatever, how many quotes there are in my text file. And then it goes and it looks in that text file for that line and spits it out. And lastly, I have a random quote, which is R-A-N-D quote. And then it just goes through and finds a random line in that mass of, uh, of quotes in that text file and just spits out one. I think it's kind of fun that way because we have no idea what's going to come up and it could be some stuff from years ago that pops up. It's just a friendly reminder of weird things that I've said on stream. And just to give you a quick indication of kind of how it outputs, this is kind of what it looks like. This is the, the text file of uh, my random quotes that people have added. It's fun and encourages some interaction. I think out of all the tools that I have on my stream, my favorite is the Streamlabs chatbot. I'm not a big fan of the CloudBot. I like the localization of the, of the chatbot. If you do not have it and want to download it, I will give you a link to the description below. But honestly, that's it. Like this is, it's super simple to be able to do the, the quote system. Um, I also have a, a, a code names that I've built with chatbot. I've done a, uh, a cards against humanity game with chatbot. There's so many different things that you can do with it and build with it. And it plays well with other things, especially text. So I'm really good with Excel. So I use Excel to export to text files that then is read by chatbot. Now, chatbot uses scripts like uh, a, a if statements. So if statements give you a lot of versatility, especially if you know how to use them. And chatbot also has other scripts that connect directly to OBS to be able to, to change scenes or to activate sources uh, to play different music or, or videos or whatever. Um, and I'm going to be doing more videos on how to do stuff like that. I wanted to start off simple with this with this quick little quote system. So if you enjoy it, please hit the subscribe button and... Uh, um, we'll see you later. Couldn't just let me win one. I gave you a head start. Not the point. What? But that's not the point. Hey, if you want to win, go ahead. I will let you win. You know what? Go after yourself. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa.